Magandang gabi mga katag! Kasama nyo nga si Christy Nola dito sa Tag Puyatana. Gabi-gabi nyong naririnig Monday to Friday from 9pm to 1am. Pero ngayon, today is special night kasi hindi ako mag-isa. Ang kasama natin sa tugtugan, kulitan at kwentuhan, isa lang naman sa one of the, I would say, fastest rising stars in the global comedy scene at set to perform lang naman sa Dubai Opera in October. Welcome to Tag Puyatana, JR de Guzman. Hi, JR. Good evening. Oh, magandang gabi. What's up, everybody? As the ba? We started with Tagalog. <laughs> magandang gabi. Magandang gabi from Dubai, but uh, from where you are, it's magandang... Magandang umaga. Awesome. <laughs> What's up? This is at my uh, Tagalog um, refresher course. JR, born in the Philippines, raised in uh, California, growing up in an Asian household. My first question would be, what's harder? Making your family laugh or convincing them mm. that comedy is a real job? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, probably convincing them that comedy is a real job because they laugh all the time. You know, my family is hilarious. Uh, my dad is really funny. Honestly, everybody in my family is funny, but I feel like even convincing myself that comedy is a real job, you know, is a difficult task as well. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still like when I'm traveling and I'm getting ready for a show, I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is my job. Mm-hmm when my entire family is all dentists and I'm about to go up and, you know, tell a joke about about my family or something, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, because so, yeah. having, you know, Asian parents, you have to grow up to be like an engineer, a teacher, or any like licensed professional. Are you doing comedy yeah. full time? And you're thriving and you're effortlessly good at it, so. And, and thank you. Well, I, I tricked them. I... I told, this is a true story, I told my mom that I was going to move back to the Philippines and go to dental school. You know, but let me just do comedy for one, two more years. Actually, no, one more year. And at that time, I was, I worked so hard to try to get like my first TV credit, which was Comedy Central's Kevin Hart uh, show. Because I knew, okay, if I can just get on something on TV in this year, then I can convince them that I'm going to stay. But if I didn't, I, I, I kind of gave myself that one year too. If I didn't, then I most likely would have been a dentist in the Philippines right now. Oh, so if you're not a comedian, a musician, comedian right now, you'd probably be a dentist. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I probably would have tricked them again, but <laughs> That's we'll the see, spirit, maybe. Yeah, until you make it. JR, we Filipinos, and I know you know this for sure, we are often uh, stereotyped as really good singers. Was mm-hmm. that the plan to be a singer at first? Is that why you incorporate music into your stand-up? Uh, well, you know, I started as a music teacher. Yeah, but even before then, my goal was always to be a musician. You know, uh, before doing stand-up. So it's it's funny that I'm still doing music in my career because I uh, like that's what I really wanted to do. And then stand-up just kept taking off. And I was like, mm-hmm. all right, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave it behind. I'm gonna keep doing music. Netflix special, uh, the comedy lineup, brought you international recognition. Definitely. How did the opportunity come about, and what was the experience like? In I think that year it was 2017 or 2018. They asked me for a submission tape, and so I set a bunch of shows aside. To be, okay, I'm gonna record this set. I'm gonna do this material, and you know. Every time I would do that show where I said I'm going to tape it, which happens for a lot of comedians, terrible show, or I, you know, I, I say one thing that messes up the whole sh- mm-hmm. set. And I just happened to have this show that I had done. I want to say it was around my, my birthday of that year. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to send this over. It's not polished. It's not like I didn't work on the jokes over and over again and all that stuff, but This is, this is the best I got. I sent this 20 minute tape in and then just forgot about it. I was taking time off in Palawan and I get like a bunch of texts, calls, emails from my manager and agents. Um, and, and I was like, you know what? I'm on vacation. I'm not going to check these. <laughs> It's the most awkward gig you've ever done where you thought, yep, this would make a great Netflix special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, one of the weirdest gigs I've ever done was I, per I performed for a college and it was like, how do I, it was in the middle of their gym, uh, okay. during like a roller skating thing. So the, the college students were like roller skating and, uh, yeah, that was probably the weirdest experience I've ever had. How do you yeah. stay inspired and how do you keep your material fresh? especially when you're mm. on one tour after the other? Yeah, that's a great, great question. Well, I think, you know, just like, just like you, you know, you, every, we show up every day, you gotta bring the energy, all that stuff. So you kind of find something that excites you every time. So, and for me, I think that's doing crowd work, talking with the crowd because the audience is gonna be different every night. And I write a song for each city that I'm in. Like when I go to Dubai, I'll, you know, spend the day before trying to like observe everything mm -hmm. and, and write a song, write a song for Dubai. It's usually touch on your Filipino heritage on your sets. How important is it to you to represent your cultural background in your comedy? That was one of my goals when I, in my early days of stand up was I would look on screen and there weren't a lot of Filipinos in any uh, media form. And then, you know, we have as far as comedy goes, when I was a kid, it was really Joe Coy and Rex Navaretti. Being able to have this platform and, and get to this point, um, just to be able to have, to be part of that is really cool. And I don't want to like take that for granted ever. You know, I know that when I was growing up, I didn't see it a lot. And so maybe there's other up and coming comedians or, or even not even comedians, but up and coming comedians who can see, oh, okay, there's Filipinos in this. We don't have to just be in this box but also outside of that maybe just filipinos or not non-filipinos non can even learn about our culture you know you're so used to filipinos being portrayed in the media for a long time was very limited you know you know to try to really put filipinos on the map so much talent in the filipino community artists uh music dance um and, and there's Filipinos literally everywhere in the world. What can your fans expect from your performance at the Dubai Opera? So, you know, I interact with the crowd at different points of the show. Um, I've got some new songs coming in. Uh, if people are on dates, that's especially fun. It's fun to like, kind of like poke, poke fun at, Always you know. do that. <laughs> it's just, it's my favorite thing to do. I'm a romantic. I like to... <laughs> Try to keep it like a positive energy. It's something like underneath the show I like to think about before the show. Make sure everyone leaves like feeling happy and forgetting whatever their, their stresses are. JR, in my show, Tag Puyatana, listeners usually share their midnight confessions. Or if there's anything, what is your midnight confession? Feelings or secrets you've been holding on to? Hello, listeners. I am JR De Guzman. This is my midnight confession. Sometimes it gets hot here. I'm in San Diego, California. And, um, but most nights I sleep completely. <laughs> I'm ever, if, I, if I'm ever a guest at your house, you Ooh. should probably wash your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. JR de Guzman. JR, why don't you invite our Kababayans in Dubai to your upcoming show? All right, Kababayan, what's up? Hello, Magandang Kabi, everything. Um, I'm so excited to come to Dubai. Uh, thanks to Tag91.1 for having me on. Christy Nola, thanks everybody. Um, I'm so excited to come to Dubai. Um, excited to see you guys at the show. If you're in a relationship, bring your loved one, bring your family, bring your friends, bring everybody. Um, I love you guys. See you soon. Mahal kita, mahal, mahal ko kayo. Tag 91.1. Pinoy talaga!